Effective inventory management is crucial for minimizing costs while meeting customer demands. Let's explore the inventory management process in SAP and its key functions. One of the primary functions is material stock management, which can be measured in two ways. First, the material stock is measured by quantity. At any time, there is a transaction in the system that affects the quantity of the stock. It updates the stock level. This includes warehouse stock, ordered but undelivered stock, and stock and inspection. SAP provides real-time insights into material stock levels at any given time. Second, the material stock is measured on a value basis. Inventory transaction update the stock value, affecting cost accounting account assignments and general ledger account. Stock value can be measured at the plant or company code level. Another key function of inventory management is planning, executing, and documenting goods movement. Goods movement are transactions that result in stock changes. Tracking material movement within and outside the organization. SAP offers various types of goods movements, and we will focus on three commonly used ones. Good receipt. This involves receiving purchased material from suppliers or internally produced items into stock. Good issue. It encompasses material movement to the production process or transfer of ownership to customer upon sale. Stock transfer. This type of goods movement transfers between storage locations within a plant or between different plants. Additionally, we have stock reservations, which serve to reserve stock in the warehouse for future use. For example, stock can be reserved to fulfill upcoming production orders. Reservation can be made at plant level or storage location level, increasing the re reserve stock bucket accordingly. SAP inventory management capabilities facilitate accurate stock valuation and efficient stock movement and reservation. Leveraging these tools enable businesses to control costs while meeting customer demand effectively.